Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today we're going to discuss um, the differences or reasons why I use hybrids versus using traditional uh, conventional inverters that have uh, transformers. So let me use a comparison. So the X versus a Schneider or a Victron. And you see that device you're seeing in there, that's a DC switch that allows me to turn PV off when I used to see these in installations in, you know, in, in South Africa, I always used to wish I could do one. And I look at it, it's right there. And the antenna is for my Wi-Fi, is for my um, Wi-Fi device. It allows it to connect to the internet. So that's what it looks like on the side. So let's get back to uh, the reason I'm doing this video. And we're going to use Solar X as our comparison to see our Victrons and our Schneider inverters. So um, before I start, Yes, let me clean this and make it a little smaller so you can see. Okay, so this way you can see um, the inverter itself. Bear with me. Okay, that's it. I think this is good enough. Okay. So we're going to use our solar axis as an example today. And in this frame, you can see the inverter, the mid box, which has all our breakers, our battery disconnects, and our changeover. And below it, our battery. Um, so let me tell you about this particular inverter and then we'll compare it to say a similar Victron and a similar Schneider inverter. So this inverter is a 5 kilowatt, has two charge controllers built in for a total of 7,500 watts in PV. I can discharge 5,000 watts on battery and for one hour I could discharge 6,500 watts on battery. Uh, prime advantage is a high voltage system, uh, so if I'm pushing, I can push through a lot of energy without increasing the amount of current I push through. Current equals heat. The higher the current I push through, the more heat. And in order to minimize the heat, I have to do much bigger cables. I don't have to do that here. Each battery is about 110, 115 volts. So one battery times 30 amps is 3,300. Two batteries times 30 amps is 6,600. So you can understand how this, be this begins to be additive. So I can double what I do without increasing my cable si sizes. And I could do up to 330, 400 volts on this system, maintaining the same uh, battery and trying to discharge the same 30 volts. The limitation will be the inverter, not necessarily the batteries. So that's one advantage. So let me summarize it for you. One, um, I could push 5,000 watts continuously or 6,500 for one hour. I have two built-in charge controllers. I have my monitoring all in one package. So everything up there, up there, is right there. So that's where everything is. Now if I had to do a victory, so let's say I did a 5 kilowatt multi, 5 kVA multi, or a 5 kilowatt, um, a 5 kVA quattro. So to match this, I'd have to do the quattro, the inverter. I have to do two charge controllers. So I could do uh, two 70 amp charge controllers, or I could do, um, well, they have a 100 amp, which is their biggest, 100 amps, 250, vol 250 volts. And they've come out with a new one, but it's not really popular in the market. Then I have to get a, a, a Lynx device, which allows me to run lithium batteries. I have to get a Venus device that allows the two charge controllers and the inverter to communicate with one another. And I have to get a battery monitor. So that's, let's see, two charge controllers, inverter, the Lynx device, and the, what do you call it? And the BMV, the Lynx device, the two charge controllers, the inverter, and the Venus device to allow me to communicate with all these things. Okay, and if I had to purchase their batteries, that Lynx device is mandatory, it's not, um, it's not optional. And that Lynx device is very expensive, it's about $1,400. So that's immediate comparisons. On the Victron, uh, Victron says I could discharge 3,500 or 3,800 watts, and it's conditional on the temperature. So once you go over 25 degrees, it will derate. This will derate, but it does not derate at 25 degrees. The rates are at a much higher voltage. Um, the Victron has fans. This doesn't have fans. 
Once you start to push high numbers through eviction, the fan kicks in and it makes noise. It has to cool that it has to cool the internal components. If you think about it at uh, 48 to 50 volts, if I'm discharging 3,000 watts, that's 60 amps. If I'm discharging 6,000, which is what this can do, that's about a 120 amps. That's a lot. And at 120 amps, you can imagine the size of the cable at 50 volts. And I'm not so sure that, um, you know, you won't spend that kind of money just to accomplish that. So those are immediate differences between this high voltage system and a low voltage Victron. Um, they both come, so like, while the Victron comes with a five year warranty, so LAX gives you a 10 year warranty. Um, one thing I like is the mid box where Solar X gives you everything in here. I used to recall where I had to get all these breakers. I, I'll have to do a changeover. I have to do an AC input breaker, an AC output breaker, a combiner box outside, and then a DC breaker, DC breaker for the PV. So I'd have to do two of those. Guess what? All that is in here. Okay, all those things are in here. I don't have to have any external devices. It looks cleaner, looks neater. Uh, with the Victron, I didn't have this option. I had to build all those things, and it got cumbersome, and it wasn't very attractive looking. So those are the things I like. By the way, if you've not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. I'm 25 subscribers away from 3,000, so I've made a lot of progress since the last video. Uh, what else? So back to the warranty. So this gives you a 10-year warranty on the batteries in battery. Victron, Victron gives you five years. Uh, Victron, of course, has over 40 years of doing this. So when it comes to experience, Victron has been doing it for quite a long time. Now let's talk about the Schneider. Schneider is similar. Um, Schneider, you get the inverter. They have a 4 kilowatt inverter, which is close to the 5 kV that uh, Victron offers. Is the SW uh, 4048. They also have a 4024, but we're not going to compare. 4048. So you get the 4048. You definitely have to get two charge controllers. You have to get... Um, there is a panel which they have, which gives you an advantage over, say, the Victron. And that van panel, they have your DC breakers, your AC breakers, and you could put, theoretically, a battery disconnect inside of it. Actually, yes, you put a battery disconnect, and you could put your breakers for your charge controllers in it. So it looks neat. It's a little bulky, but it comes close to matching what this does. Uh, the Schneider gives you a three-year warranty. I think they've extended it to five years. You have to buy your own battery, so they don't offer you battery options. Uh, same like the Victron is rated for 4,000 watts, but they don't push out 4,000 watts. It's also dependent on what the conditions are. The Victron has the automatic gen start function built in. This doesn't, but they have a comp an external component which can do the gen start function. The Schneider, you have to buy the AGS, which is a separate device to do the gen start function. So yes, that is uh, what they share in common. Um, Schneider, of course, is a huge company. They acquired Zantrex, and Zantrex became uh, the Schneider product. So they have talent, they have expertise, a much, much larger company than both Victron and SolarX combined. So. Um, as you can see, my reasons are one single piece of equipment versus six or seven pieces of equipment. Uh, this center component, which neither offers, but is really bulky. And then a battery that integrates in. So these are the advantages I see on the hybrid relative to your traditional um, transformer-based inverters. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Like I said, I am 25 away from 3,000. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.